not long ago, bros. Deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken bros came together to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by Brodom, and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our here bros venture forth to explore strange new lands. So gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers, and join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D broadcast. Previously on Botched, we were at the King's Party, and Randall outdrank the King. Talk about Catman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got uh, callbacks. <laughs> Ralph failed at stealing from Catman, <laughs> but the we cat pauldrons, but they're friends. best yeah. buds. And Brochel almost got a wife. But then the bell started to ring, and oh. the robot army invaded the town, and we left with the king, Aloris, and the other mage, Marwin. Morrowind. Morrowind. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry, Bethesda. And we engaged some robots. Um, the king promptly killed himself with his own axe. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Botched. Uh, thanks again for everybody for tuning in. Uh, this is episode 24. We're going to start off right where we left off last time with Randall up first to attack the Robogre. 17. Hits. 2d12 plus 2 to whatever it is you're doing. Yes. Oh, wait, what was... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, you're good. Yes. 21 damage. Nice. To the robot. And I'll use my action surge to attack again, but this time with the hammer end. I got a 16. Hits. And I do. 4d6 plus 2. Mm, the hammer end might be better, mm. mathematically, for 24 damage. Nice. Bling, bling. <laughs> I like this hammer. So when you hit it the second time with the hammer, you basically jump up and you just crush it right in the skull and it just concaves a little bit and the pink smoke flows out the top and then it just falls over and... Are you huffing the pink smoke? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm um, not a dwarf. Perception check. Ralph. Oh. Twelve. Uh, you hear the creaking of a robot uh, sneaking up behind you, about to attack. So you can turn around real fast and do like a immediate reaction if you'd like. It looks a little fucked up in comparison to the rest of the robots, but it's a humanoid as opposed to sort of like Robro. <clears throat> I will do that. Sixteen hits. Three. <laughs> Luckily for you, he didn't have much hit points, so he breaks, but like he just sort of shudders, and this one seems to have way more pink smoke than the other ones, and it's just... Ooh, capture it. Puffing out. That so. pink smoke's important. He wouldn't keep doing it if Are you, we weren't going to capture it somehow. I, do I have a, a, bag? a jar? <laughs> you have your lungs. A net and a fairy? <laughs> just puff it. <laughs> Should I like chug a potion and then I inhale it? Okay. So, do a con check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Crit 20. Okay. So, you don't pass out, but Feels you, good. you feel really strange, and all of a sudden your vocal cords start to change a bit, and it's no longer this deep gravelly voice, but this weird twist between a Australian and a <laughs> British accent. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. I feel funny. That... <laughs> oh, I can't so I don't feel so good. <laughs> and he's you here... fucking left me there. <laughs> you just your your dicks left me there. And they put me in this walking fucking trash can. <laughs> Who's who are you? Do we have like <laughs> some prior relationship? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Randall doesn't know. <laughs> Who's this guy? Where'd you man? where'd you get your dick flail from? I don't have you, were on, you were on. He's not using he was it on the anymore. operating table. Yeah. <laughs> I've replaced you. Who the you. fuck are you guys? <laughs> so I look Aloris. Up, Aloris? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Boren's no, out there. No, I don't know anybody. <laughs> it's just Aloris and Robo. <laughs> Who the fuck are these amateurs? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> who are you, man? Do we have like some kind of prior <laughs> relationship with this guy? You're fucking murderer, All their deaths are on Joe, your head. Don't hang out with this bitch. <laughs> if you want to die... Follow her to your death. <laughs> so blow up on the dragon, just kill him. Word. Any last, any last imparting words before you float off into the afterlife, Nigel? I like killing, thieving, and extortion. You give me twenty bucks, I'll give you an abortion. I love cocaine. 
And then his, so, like, pink smoke starts to just flood out of his nostrils. And all of a sudden, his voice changes back from British slash Australian to... Bra Australian. Yes. Bra Australian. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Okay. That was weird, That dude. was weird, man. No. Oh. So you can see the bank from where you guys currently are located. Um, it sits next to the watchtower as well. The bank is completely engulfed in flames. Like that thing is com- is full on torched at the moment. M- my fortune is in there currently. Yes, we have to put it out. And there's the dragon on top of it, and eventually it kind of flies up Moral on top wind. of the tower. Can magic fire melt steel coins? <laughs> Gold coins. <laughs> Steel coins, steel, yes. If I get steel coins, this is crushing house where everything is steel. So yeah, so the dragon eventually flies up on top of the tower with the guy on the top of it with his staff, and he's kind so of... So the bank is clear. Other than it being completely engulfed in flames. But the bank is sitting right next to that tower. Why and that, not a fire dragon? That dragon is shooting red lightning bolts just all over the place. I would like... Ooh, good. Okay. Come at me, bro. Why is that good? Because I'm resistant to lightning. What if it's not actually lightning? There wouldn't dude, be lightning dude. bolts if it was lightning. I mean, what if it's an all an illusion? What if what if none of this is real? This is all just happening in the mind of an autistic child looking into a snow globe with a dragon with tiny, tiny hands. <laughs> <laughs> so the people of Crush How do you hold that up. axe with such <laughs> tiny hands? They're very strong. It gets the wrist the in on it. Strongest hands. Lots of ri- <laughs> like, he played a lot of ultimate, so he's got real good grip. So the people of Crushing House seem to be putting up a pretty good fight, um, considering they're being, you know, invaded by, like, a swarm of robots. Um, around that time, like, you start to see mounds of dirt sort of, like, pop up. And More then... people, you say. <laughs> no. <laughs> so then Now the... is our time! <laughs> we will rise! <laughs> sort of. So the tops kind of pop off and outswarm just, like... Diglets. Goblins. Just Doug trio. Just a shit ton of goblins. Just, oh, the goblin uprising that we never dealt with. <laughs> it's literally rising up now. Yeah. Out of the ground. <laughs> so now they're swarming the same people <laughs> that are fighting. Yeah. Are they fighting the robots too? No, they're just fighting the... Uh, are the robots not the fighting them either? Nope. I wish the king was still alive so we could throw this in his goddamn face. <laughs> I cut off the king's head to keep with me. <laughs> okay. So you if anybody mean, wants proof that I'm the king now... <laughs> you're going to use it in your scrapbooking? Yeah. All right. That's what a scrapbook's made out of. It's just the face of the king. Squish the face down. <laughs> it's like a leaf. So yeah. So that's what's going on right now. So let's leave. Just leave town. Get your yeah, money and I run. We're supposed to kill that guy. I mean, I look. You can to, do it as hey, you want. Morrowind. We got to kill that guy. She goes. Well, I don't really think you guys have the gear for this. Well, can you evacuate us out of here with your magicness? No. What? Well, how are we going to escape and warm the mage tower? Well, I mean. There is supposed to be some sort of uh, armory of powerful relics in town. Oh my god, let's go there. We might be able to... Can you, can you magic stuff? your way to knowing where that is? Well, I just know where it is. Oh. Mm. <laughs> well, so there's not so much supposed to be... Can you actually do magic? There is well, I don't know what's in it. I'm told it's got relics in it. Oh, well, god. let's go I was wield shown those the relics. Okay. A door? <laughs> oh, we're <laughs> fucked. God, we're so fucked. Uh, it's back in the castle where you guys came from. Let's go. But that bank will be completely gone by the time you guys get back. You know I mean, what? We can get the melted pile of gold out of it later. Yeah. Just one giant <laughs> sheet. <laughs> this is ours. Drag it. Okay. So you guys just going to hightail it back to the castle as fast as possible? or mm. Okay. So you guys run, um, and the robots seem to not be paying a ton of attention to you because there's so many people from Crushing House that are sort of fighting. Um, the goblins also don't seem to give too much of a shit about you either. The people are is there, must be is there a way to uh, try to mess up the circuitry so that the goblins and the fighting of the robots? I if think... only you had some sort of gnome that knew how to do like mm. tinkering of uh, some type. That'd be useful. You could uh, set <laughs> set a, a feedback loop into the uh, the hydro corda sensors that uh, targeted foes. What? You want to try to do that? You can try and do that. Yeah, I'll try and do that. Okay. So you're going to go up to a row, bro. <laughs> and just start tinkering. Oh. So uh, we'll you're go gonna, with intelligence. Go <laughs> 19. Oh. <laughs> so you had what sort of weapons? Do you have any like small weapons like daggers or knives or anything? Um, I've got... No, I have my uh, ornamental dagger from the... Uh, okay. Yeah. So you pry open the back piece while this thing is just <laughs> pummeling this. the shit 
out of a crushing house child. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Shh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's cool. So you just pry open the back plate and you're fiddling around in there. And you hear this like... Tss, tss, and like there's a little bit of a spark. Uh, Dex, check real fast. Mm, this could be bad. Four. <laughs> So you get a jolt of otherworldly energy, not necessarily electricity, but something else, and you just shoot backwards <laughs> about 15 feet, like your hair is doing that stereotypical. I don't have hair. Oh, scales. That's right. Your scales are all up and frayed and <laughs> blackened. It's not mating season. <laughs> that's right. I forgot. But you're a uh, lizard man. Um, you're going to take nine damage. Mm. You're a little singed. But the the robot... Stops crushing this child into pulp and then turns towards a goblin and then picks it up, and starts good smashing it. Good, All right, there's one, so you got one down. I think that's probably good. How many goblins are there? <laughs> Thousands. Well, that maybe that'll sow the seeds of oh, um, I would like to do a performance, inspire me, sing a song about Randall that I'm in a robotic voice, say. Target all goblins. Beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> and scream it they at don't the... say words. That sounds like them. That's... But they don't. <laughs> Why would they betray us? Are you trying to trick the robots or the goblins? The goblins. Because oh, okay, now there's okay. one goblin. There's yeah. one robot killing a goblin in sight. Ah, that's a crit fail. <laughs> <laughs> Beep boop. I am robot. Okay. They just don't pay any attention. Beep boop. <laughs> robot. Kill the goblins. I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. But you didn't say it in a robot voice at all. You're just um, normal. I'm maybe, gonna maybe, draconic. I'm gonna take <laughs> yeah. a cue from him and then be like, "Wait, wait, hold on." Maybe the I got this, monster. dude. Inspire me. A song about Chad Brochel. <sighs> <laughs> so it's a 20 minute song, <laughs> mostly pointless guitar riffs. Yeah. All right. All right. And I'm right. jumping on the trampoline as I do it. All right. What is it? A D6. Yeah. 25. To do this faking thing he was just kidding i am the real robot man Initiate. and we will destroy <laughs> destroy the goblins yeah so uh the goblins <laughs> <laughs> they buy it for whatever reason <laughs> oh dudes i did it so they're they're more apprehensive of the robots now <laughs> so they sort of pick their fights and murder people and then run away real fast that's the dragon in the distance it's roaring yep. As the dragon roars, we run to the castle for the... It's a bolt of red lightning just shoots past your heads. <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> Enough of this goblin shit. <laughs> let's, get, let's get the fuck out of here. So you make your way back up to the castle, and she takes you um, through the main chamber where you were before, but now there's like a, a doorway. If anybody questions us, I hold up the There's no the guards king. in the castle. Literally, the castle is completely <laughs> abandoned. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Let I, them pass. <laughs> I gave them permission. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's like a puppet all, head. <laughs> they wouldn't know because if you remember, he oh, killed himself yeah. by smashing himself in the face with no, his weapon. I, I clamped his shut with my my dragon saliva mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you licked what? it closed like a yeah. letter. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. I don't know how that does. Dragon anything. saliva is very sticky. It's a dragon medicine. What's sticky? He has he doesn't have a face anymore. It's smashed in. <laughs> There's like, no he, pasting he, it. Back he together. took an ear and just. I, uh, <sighs> Took, yeah. I took the took the neck like a and I blew glove. into it like yeah. like you're trying to put on a pair of kitchen gloves yeah, yeah. <laughs> to blow it back out with lightning. There's nobody there anyways, so there's okay. nobody there to Just toss the head. do this we too. Don't, we don't why well, you can keep maybe it there's a retinal scanner at the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, Dave. I can't let you enter the room. Your face has been too smashed. <laughs> You don't have eyes anymore, Dave. So you get down to the... She takes you down a circular staircase, and off she goes, okay, there's the prison. Okay, there's the torture room. Okay, I'm pretty sure this door right here is to the relic chamber. Is this where we should betray her? Well, why would we betray her? I am her? not powerful enough to... Okay. Yeah, Good. no. That was off the record. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you say it out loud. <laughs> is this where we betray her? <laughs> what? Do you think she heard me? I think she's the the villain. <laughs> Not cool, bro. <laughs> she goes, people in Crushing House tend to be very protective of items, so I'm going to just let you guys deal with this door. And she sort of backs uh, away. Can you detect magic on it to tell if it's... it's... She does, and she detects that it is magical. Uh, missile kick away. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you going to do that? I'm going to hit it with the hammer end of my... Oh, do you want to check the handle first? No. Yeah, do that. Okay. Um, I'll put all my stuff down. Okay. I'll try the handle. Uh, it's locked. Door's locked. Good check. <laughs> Is there anything, any writing or anything around it? Uh, do a perception check. Yeah. 20. Yeah, less than that. You see there's very teeny tiny little writing around the edge of the doorknob. So I take out my bifocals <laughs> to read it. The kind that like keep focusing in, like mm-hmm. you just keep adding more lenses to it. Stink, stink, yeah, stink, like a uh, person who does jewelry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Got an it. artifice. Does jewelry. <clears throat> Dude, you want to go back to my place do some jewelry? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what's jewelry? It sounds good. They only do crocodile. <laughs> so when you read the door <laughs> now, stuff. it says that basically this, this door is magically enhanced so that anything you do to it, it'll do back to you. Hmm. I open my heart to the door. Not like physically, I'm just like, I'm tied. I just want to open up to you, door. I just, you know, man, like, I've been through a lot, and I, I just want to be open. I <sighs> jerk the knob. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, a little tendril, a tendril of wood comes out and wraps it around your t- Filled with splinters. He doesn't uh, have a dick. Uh, Cloaca, whatever. It's filled with splinters. <clears throat> just the way dragons like it. All right, so it doesn't want to open its heart so, back to me. So you open your heart to the door, yeah. and the door just starts telling you sweet nothings back to you. Oh. I think... Obviously, we need to open someone. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> open. Way. Let's go. Let's gut this bitch. Is Robro still alive? Yeah, he's still there. Open your hatch to them, Robro. <laughs> so it goes beep, boop, beep, and then it opens its hatch, <laughs> and the door opens. Right, yes! Cool. We are so smart. <clears throat> well done. Good job, Robo. Hey, man, a, a door that didn't take us 45 minutes. Awesome. I was hoping you just hit it. Or miss <laughs> okay, kid. I really wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Oh, man, take that hammer to that door. Yep, because the axe end's coming right back. <laughs> Ding. Funk. So you go in this room. There's no lights. It's completely pitch black. No right. lights. No music. I got low light vision. Okay. Yeah, I've got dark vision 120. Perception check. Where are not going to do that, dude. God, dude, I'll totally Eight. see the shit out of this. With 13, man. There's lots of crates and boxes um, sort of scattered around this room, but it looks like a lot of the lids are ajar. And um, there's sort of the like jars. hay and stuff like <laughs> Hay and straw, like kind of scattered around the floor and around and, the edges of the boxes. All right. Um, so this is the. Go up to one of the weapons room. Like look in. The okay. Box. It's empty. What's in the box? It's empty. What's in the box? Uh, all What's right. In the cool. other box. I'm going to go through and look at all the boxes. Okay. Eventually, you um, find a box, and it just has, like, a shitty-looking dice bag in it. I take it. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. RNG item. <laughs> what? RNG <laughs> item. <laughs> okay. I so, yeah, you have, like, a tiny little dice I bag. I turn and Like, weighs nothing. Dude, dice to meet you, man. Uh, I'm not saying it's necessarily a dice bag. I'm saying it looks like just it. Just open it. I open it. Okay. It's a mimic as a dice. <laughs> <laughs> Just like everything was a mimic. <laughs> uh, so you open it up. Are you looking inside the bag, or I mean, yeah. You just see nothingness. All right. <gasps> see if my accordion fits in it. Uh, you, you, uh, would you really want to lose that? Yes, I'll, please. I'll stick my arm in it. Uh, up to the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go up with the accordion. <laughs> so, so is that what you're doing? No, he yeah. won't let me. I'm gonna put the accordion <clears> in it. It just somehow fits in there. It's and just then gone. I, try to retrieve it. And then I re- try to attempt to retrieve it. You bloop, pull it right back out. Yeah, him back I give him back the accordion, and I'm just like, <laughs> and I put it. In my and it fits so much Wait, drugs into this. I try and pull more stuff out of it. <laughs> I was like, yes, just put the bag away. Just put it away. Fantastic. We've we've done this enough. Uh, right. <laughs> Dice bag. Got it. <laughs> You pull out a large crate, and as soon as it like exits the bag, do a strength check real fast. <clears throat> oh, all right. Uh, it's an 18. Okay, so you pull out this huge crate, and it's wrapped in chains and has like a note on it. And as soon as you pull it out, like you almost fall over because it's so heavy. Do not open until time of war. <gasps> Are you reading the note? I mean, I'll look at it. I okay. don't know if I can read it. The can, note can says... Can I put the box down first? <laughs> yes, you can I do, do not want to... Yeah, it's just like... Oh. <laughs> oh. Bro, I only skipped arm day too many times. So, the note says, under no circumstances may the contents of this box be opened, especially to a bard. I mean, do I leave? I mean, I think we have to open it. 
Is there like a lock? Is there anything it's else just in the a, bag? It's just a chain, chain. wrapped around is there it. Anything else in the bag? I'm going to keep... Is there more stuff in the bag? Sure. You get a whole uh, suit of plate, full plate armor. Uh, give me that. <clears throat> Don't you already have plate? Not full plate. All right. I put it down on the ground for you to get. I lizard my way into it. <laughs> 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 There's, um... So you're reaching in again? Do I feel stronger? Yeah. It's just just full plate. Plate of strength plus five, you say? No, it's just full plate. God damn. Plus four, you say? Uh, you reach into the bag again. This time you pull out this... It's like a white and very shiny shield. It almost looks like it's emanating light, but it's not. All right. Like, but there's no light hitting it, so you don't okay. quite know how it's doing. All right. I... <clears throat> who who wants it? Strap it to Robo. <laughs> I mean, can't you be full plate with with a shield? I have a two handed. He has a two handed weapon. Oh, you have that axe ball. Mm-hmm. Can you use a shield? I'm arranged. Yeah. Robo. You can. Robo. Yeah, In the book, him. it says you can use shield. I mean, sure. if you get into melee. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. All right, I hand him a shield. It's a mirror shield. No, I said it's, light light it's, a, it's like white and very Lades shiny. of light. Shield light. Almost like it emanates light, but not really. Like but uh, light. Man, I'll World tell you what all this stuff do, does at the end. But I Tell me what it, it do. Do what it do. So this time when you reach in, you pull out this long sword that has some jewels in it, but okay. it almost feels like it's vibrating constantly. A vibroblade. Oh, oh, give that right. to Alorus. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so lonely. I get it. <laughs> And my hand feels funny. <laughs> you reach in again this time, and you pull out a cloak, but it's made out of bark. I'm going to put that on. Okay. Dude. With your sword, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bristly, man. You reach in again, you pull out a scimitar, okay. but it's like shining and um, like sparkly. I say okay. Alibaba. All right, dude, who wants... I, 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 okay. Just keep pulling Is things this, out. Yeah, I'm just okay. Hold on. We'll have uh, a nice pile of stuff. You pull out a shield, but it looks like it's just a round circle of space, like literal space. It's darker than the darkness. Like it's a void. It. All right. <clears throat> like you see stars and everything, but it doesn't have any slot for you to just put your arm into. Uh huh. It just looks like it straps onto your back or chest. Either way. All right. Just FYI. Okay. So arrows go right through you. What <laughs> type of uh, armor do you wear? Uh, I can get light armor. Okay, so light armor works. So studded and leather. Then... Uh, yeah, I, well, I already have studded leather. That's studded leather plus one. So. <laughs> and then, uh, by the way, the weapons I'm proficient in are rapier, short sword, crossbow, Cimitar, and simple weapons. But so I not have, a scimitar. I have a, I, I chose um, the thing of the blade or whatever, so I have a bound rapier that shows up out of nothing. Okay. And it's Instead considered of a magic. scimitar plus three, it's a rapier plus three. Ooh, can I... Oh, wait, I can. I can make that my bound weapon. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can change it out. <clears throat> and there's attack and damage. I, uh, Jeez. while he's getting that, I'm binding the two, the axe hammer to me with my You're binding to you? I can summon it, and I cannot be unarmed. <clears throat> okay. So the other things that your axe mace thing does. So on an axe, when the axe end, you Shimitar. can get a crit from an 18 to 20. Oh. The mole end, you have a 25% chance to knock medium slash small sized uh, creatures prone for a turn. He, he take this. It's the vibro sword. <laughs> yep. So you have the vibro sword. Brush my teeth with it. <laughs> you guys opening the box or no? I, I mean, I feel like we should throw it at the dragon. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to open the box. Okay. How are you going to get the chains off? Uh, I'll what? strength them. Okay. I ask kindly. It, they just fall right off. They're like, thank you. Oh, nobody thought it was nice I, uh, 22 the chains. You just rip the chains right off the box. So now it's just the box. You should open it now. I don't think I have the strength to open it. It's right. just a box. Open the lid. I open it. Yep. Inside this box sits an item. Is it a holophoner? That's so terrifying to Please. most, but not to the bard. Please tell me it's a one man band. No. Oh. <sighs> It looks, on the it knees looks like a the piano of types, Monica. but it has the head of a cat. <laughs> oh, shit. And when you, well, if you decide you want to play it, it meows instead of playing normal notes. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. Right on. But when you do that, you notice the sword starts to move around a lot more. The vibrating sword, like, moves up on its own. It's Ooh, just floating hey. there. <laughs> so a ranged vibro sword with a meow meow. So is it kind of like... Uh... So I'll tell you what each of these items are. So the uh, white shield is a shield of healing. It gives plus three AC to the user, 
and a chance of 40% when hit to heal everyone within five yards for half of the damage that was received. If there was a miss and it went off, then uh, it just heals for 1d8 to everybody. Uh, piano so Cat. Went to Robro. Sure. Yeah, we're going to get that to Robro. <laughs> piano Cat gives plus three to all bardic abilities. That's really good. Or attacks or whatever. And then plus one to all bardic buffs. So it would be 1d6 plus one or whatever. Mm. And Shay. Playing music is like a ranged attack because everyone hates that fucking meow. So it's, uh, you know, your proficiency, but it's plus your uh, charisma modifier instead of like a dex modifier to hit anyways. And then it's 1d10 damage plus ka modifier for damage. All right. Wubble up a dub dub, everybody. <clears throat> your dancing longsword. Uh, as long as you're playing music, the sword can act independently of you, um, as, but you're willing it, essentially. Um, and it has a proficient your proficiency bonus plus your charisma modifier to hit. And then so, it deals 1d8 damage plus your charisma modifier. <laughs> so it's kind of like Yondu's <clears throat> yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Fuck! Yeah. Except it's a long sword. Yeah. The Cloak of Bark gives plus one AC. And you can summon a basic animal companion made of bark to fight with you. So like a wolf, boar, bear, bird. A bark bear. <laughs> Large bark cat. Bear. <laughs> bark bear. Uh, I want a bark bear. Bark bear. I want a bark bear. I want a bark dog. Bark bark. Bark. Bark it. Bark, 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 bark. It's bark it. I summon a terrier made of bark. His name is Bark it. <laughs> the uh, void shield basically gives you a plus two to AC and you don't have to have it out like a normal shield. Um and your, it to my chest. and your skin around it also becomes void-like. And any attacks, like if someone attacks and hits you in that particular spot, it has a chance of losing whatever it is in the void. Hmm. Yeah, so. I put it, I strap it to my chest. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, hey, guys. Look at <laughs> Give my me space hugs. tits. <laughs> hey, space tits, bro. Are you seeing stars? <laughs> What's Did my, I miss what, anything? What's my, the, my the plate the, armor? It's just plate armor. And then the shimitar is just a regular... Old. Well, it's not a scimitar now. It's a it's a rapier, plus three to hit. And they damage. get plus three weapons, and I get a regular. Their their relic armor is a regular suit of armor. <laughs> <laughs> you have the king's maul. It was in a bag of holding, and you have a bag of holding. Um, but your maul does forty six plus two That's on nice. top of whatever else. Plus you're twenty five percent chance of yeah. And then your axe does two d twelve plus two on top of whatever else you're adding to your damage. So. Not that bad. I had to murder the king for it. You didn't do shit. I uh, he killed dethroned himself. him. <laughs> he killed himself. All right, let's take a break. And we're back. So, a little bit of a change. Uh, uh, since I fucked up and thought Chad Brochill was a druid and not a warlock. Uh, we're changing one of his items uh, from a cloak of bark to a void cloak. So it, that too looks like it's just sort of a sheet of like space. Um, and with that, he can summon a little voidling that basically can remote cast cantrips um, same turn that he can. So it's like a extra yeah. attack. Um, but whenever it takes damage, he takes damage. So that's something to keep in mind. And it can't Meow. physically interact with anything. Yeah. So you guys have collected all your gear. Meow. What are you guys doing? What do you want to do? I guess we should go kill that guy on a dragon i mean are you the only one who's wounded uh when we leveled up we got full hp oh you're right duh yeah that's oh, how yeah. that works that's right <laughs> oh that means all my spells are back all oh, fucking warlocks all two of them <laughs> so i'm full health I'm not hearing it now Sure, we'll just say you're full health because I don't know. Yeah, everybody sheds their skin of the last level they had. <laughs> yeah, well, that was weird. Oh, hey, when that happens, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Why does that happen every every other day? God damn it. <laughs> this is weird. So what are you guys doing? Heading to go what kill is, the guy? What does uh, Morrowind think we should do? Well, she's in favor of stopping the guy with the robot army. Hmm. Getting that staff away from any, him. Uh, any idea how we should do that? If we combine our powers, just murder the fuck. We can form Voltron. That's right, Captain. Right. Maybe Captain Voltron planet. Yep. I'm the I'm the black tiger. I want to be void. the yellow tiger. <laughs> All right. Wouldn't you be the blue one? Because I thought the yellow one was the chunky guy. Well, you're a, you're a blue, you're blue dragon. Yeah. Whatever. You gotta be thematic, dude. <laughs> let's uh. Well, I guess let's go start slaying. Is there any kind of like underground way to get to the tower? 
No, she says basically that the only way she's not super familiar with all, if there are any underground tunnels, I mean, we can look. She just knows of the most direct way to get there. I mean, there are Let's catacombs. Look. I mean, we're in, we're in the, to the tunnels. Okay. Um, so the staircase can keep going down if you want to try that, or you can try one of the floors above you that went off. She knows they go to prison cells, but they could go someplace else too. She doesn't know. We I say we release the prisoners. Be like, if you come with us, if you want to live, or come with us if you don't want to guarantee death from robots. prison break. <laughs> You guys are probably hyper violent and crazy. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. Or we just don't tell them what's Actually, going on. <laughs> all the pacifists yeah. are the ones that get locked up in the uh, prison because it's crushing house. Violence. That's right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sit in your coffin and rot. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Prison? Yeah, let's yeah, free the prisoners. I like the prison idea. Yeah. Okay. Have a little backup. So, when you go up to the prison area, right there on the wall is a set of keys, and there's just two rows the uh, entire length of the hallway. Okay. About. 200 feet long of cells. All right. Marco! Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, are there right, any torches? Yeah. Can we see in these cells? Yeah, it's it's like a dim torch lit, you know, area. What's it, Who's in the cells now? A lot of elves. A lot oh, of elves no. in the cells. Um, elf elf on the cell. Ishnu <laughs> for ah, bros. <laughs> so, like, please let us out. Ishnu Allah. We're just... Traveling musicians and such. We didn't do um, anything. <laughs> Promise. I bet your. I, I think they're my bandmates. Souls against a. <laughs> so I walk out. Uh, fiddle of gold. Fiddle made of cats that uh, are <laughs> elves better than you. They're like, what? <laughs> we're pri- we're prisoners. <laughs> what? Can you just let us go? No bets. Well, bros, <laughs> we'll totally like release you, but I gotta drop kind of a bomb on you right now, man. Can you can you handle it? Sure. All right. So, army of robots currently attacking the city, and we need your help. Fuck them. Let them burn. Well, you're also gonna burn. Fuck them. Let them burn. You, mm. you just have that's no, not how you get out of yourself. <laughs> you have no will to live whatsoever. We should just set fire to the room right now. Well, you and could let, you let burn. us go, and then we could just run away. You're, that's you're, the elf way. You can. <laughs> whoa, can whoa, see why you're whoa, in whoa, whoa! Also, an elf just happened to be drow. Don't hate. Just you know, it's fine. understand. Uh, if if we don't like stop this now, it's gonna be everywhere. Everywhere will be gone. There will be nowhere to run. <sighs> Fine. All right. Cool. Uh, let's. Do you want us to just follow you around, or like we gotta just kill run this, and run this, them up? Uh, this robot dragon. Oh, great! A robot dragon. Well, no, we mostly just have to kill the guy riding, riding it. Robot oh, okay. <laughs> It'll be. Very and if you acrobats, easy. we could like tackle him out of there. I've seen Lord of the Rings. You guys can do sure. some crazy shit. We've got some acrobatic people. Nice. We'll We're elvish. Them. We tend to be a little more dexterous. That, that seems, will be good. That seems a little racist. Um, you guys okay. are. You guys are our offensive <laughs> tackles. They have stereotypes for a reason. <laughs> What'd you say? They're our offensive tackles. <laughs> yeah. Stereotypes exist for min maxing. There you go. I mean, is it racist if the guy, if he is an elf, saying that? Yeah, that's still pretty. Racist. It's his people. Well, it's my people. Uh, it's also my people. Are they, and... are they dark elves? Or are they... Yeah, are they any, are there <laughs> what any kind of elves are these? Duskies in there? They're like regular elves. Like, duskies? Like, whoa, whoa. What the darkies. We're not... He means darkies. He's d- duskies, Darkies, yeah. I yeah. with duskies. Um, I don't know if I'm all right with that. I'm a dusky hue. <laughs> no, uh, I'm kind of a sand. It's like wood elves, mostly. <sighs> dusky. Hey, I love children. What? I knew a wood elf once. No, I didn't. Your mother knew a wood elf once. Nah, I'm are you still, Are you still part of that lineage? No. All right. Okay. Yeah, you are. Uh, Aloris knew a wood elf once. <laughs> there you go. Does she trust them? I mean, she doesn't see any have reason you guys, why not to. Have you, have you bros heard of Carindal? <laughs> They're like, they pause for a second, it gets real quiet. They're like, what? what? Why do you want to know about that guy? That's, that's what she should ask them. I don't know. Oh. So she asked, does any of you guys know anybody not by the name of Karen Dole? And they get real quiet and they're like, um, how, how do you, how do you know that name? Is he, is he out there with you guys? Cause if he is, we, we're not elves. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, ghouls. We're all ghouls. <laughs> we're, nah, he's we're, dead. <laughs> oh, oh, 
Thank God. And like you just start to hear like clapping and cheering. Yay! Thank Finally! God. Such a lecher. Just trying to fuck everything that moves. Doesn't care what it is. Or doesn't move. Or really. how old it is. Or how old it is. Can't even tell you how much drades are floating around because of that dude. He had, he had sex with my house once, says one of the elves. <laughs> That's not me. He fucked my holiday turkey. I had to burn That's that ottoman <laughs> on the table while we were trying to eat it. Guys made eye up. contact the whole time. <laughs> he just stared right into my eyes. <laughs> like he was looking into my soul. So yeah, so, so that's your change, interaction yeah. with the Yeah, well, elves. we're going to let him out. Uh, okay. Should we keep I mean, him we shackled? Just, yeah, we could leave him there and try the dungeon, the underground route instead. Cause yeah, that's... Kinda, that's they kind of suck. Yeah, they're, they're kind of... I mean... I don't want to do... Yeah, there, yeah, we just tell that in front. <laughs> I don't want to deal with you. I don't. I just don't have the time. Okay. Why? Why also? Why are we going in the tunnels? They want to see if there's an underground way to we get to the get, tower. We don't want to fight robots the entire way to the robot king, and then fight the robot king. Oh well I, well, I still think we should bring these elves with us through the tunnels. Yeah. Yeah. If there's tunnels. Yeah. So I, have any of I, we asked them if any of them have been to the tunnels? No, they just they didn't show us the layout. Of their castle structure. So they have no idea where anything is in here because they were just locked up and thrown away. They weren't shown the layout of the castle. It's not really they didn't like a prison. floor plan. No. The, the realtor Actually, for the, the prison was each in like prison any... cell comes with a complimentary copy of blueprints for the entire like city. Oh. So it's very... It sounds nice. It's nice they, yeah. The question yeah. house in, encourages escape yeah. so that they can kill Murder. you when you run. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please. There's your escape Please tunnel. Huh? The keys are literally right outside. No, we're not doing that. That sounds terrible. You're not even locked in. <laughs> it's not even yet. We gotta unlock it. And just go, the fuck? <laughs> Pull it no. back. No, they might see. This no. is all just a trick. He was trying to escape. <laughs> no. So what do you, what do you guys want yeah, to I'm, do? Yeah, I'm letting these fuckers out. Okay, are you making them follow you or just run amok outside and fight okay. stuff? You come with us if you want to. Live. You want? I guess to have a, go outside. A higher yeah. chance of survival. Stay together. As a pack. Hold the line. <laughs> Shackle them. Swarm yeah. and groat. <laughs> Do like uh, Rick and Morty at the end of season two. Where they have uh, all the Mortys on the Rick star being jabbed into pain. That's the end of season one. Season one. And except instead of uh, all the Mortys, there'll be all the elves around us. So that when stab, we... <laughs> stab, 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 stab. <laughs> it's not we really didn't sure why, but... to be a meat shield. <laughs> well, there's not a lot of meat on them. It's there. true. Yeah. Uh, I'm also going to let, like, so when we go out, be like, guys, it's kind of fucked up out there. Just, you know, we don't really have any weapons to give you. Just scrounge, pick up what you can. Okay. Just do, I do give whatever, them but stay with axe chucks. Somebody who looks <laughs> the beefiest of the, 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 of the, the smallest child. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even hold it. Tries to sling it once, decapitates themselves. Next. Okay. So you guys are just going up top, not searching for a tunnel underneath? Yeah, or no. Or, or just, you guys are um, like from the Underdark. Can you find tunnels good? That's probably also racist. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are used to this. I mean, we, we do have you know some dark vision going on. D- dusk vision. D- drow, drow sight. I, I don't, I, it's just, I, I, now I feel like I'm always being racist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, let's just go outside. Fucking point ears. <laughs> <laughs> right? So you guys are just heading outside then? Okay, so when you head back out this time, it does seem like things are a little better than last time. Oh, yeah. uh, the Crushing House people are making pretty short work of the goblins um, uh-huh. since they're staying. Pick up the goblin weapons, elf people. Yeah, they do that. They're picking up whatever they can find. Put, put on. Just, they're not attacking skins. robots. Goblin, goblin armor, so like skull leather, caps. just like it's like a bikini top mm-hmm. and short shorts. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we need our scantily clad elf warriors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They will Distract defeat our enemies them. with sexiness. Well, the robots can't handle it. They just self-destruct. I was not programmed to sex. <laughs> love. 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 Um, so, yeah. So, it does seem like things are going a little bit better. But that dragon is still sitting on top of that tower just shooting red lightning at everything that gets anywhere close. Okay. Ooh, um, we can all come from the different directions all at once. So, only one will die. <laughs> it's probably an elf. Okay. I mean, you can do that if you want. Elves charge, and we'll just sneak in behind him. Um, is there a crushing citizen nearby? Oh uh, yeah. I want to ask him about the tunnels. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not doing the tunnels. Tell me about the tunnels. <laughs> he's just like, so he's like in the middle of just axing away at shit. He's very out of breath. 
and you ask him a random question, he's like, what? what? There's... You're asking me about bloody tunnels? We're fighting a war, you wee bastard! There's no tunnels, guys. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's tunnel-free zone. I love that all your characters are Scottish. <laughs> no, I can't think of anything else. It's a fucking... Something exotic. <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> Scottish it is. Yeah. That sounds the most barbaric to me. I mean... Uh... <laughs> oh, there goes all our Scottish <laughs> listeners. Son of a bitch. Yeah. The English listeners are cheering. Oh, oh, we, just, we just gained Europe, 30 more. Europe just goes way up. Yeah. Scotland way down. Brexit oh. did wonder, wonders for our, our listening. That's right. The Nigel's Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> he Brexited pretty quick. So, what what's your plan then? Uh, spread out and charge. <laughs> well, we should try and, and like <laughs> just swarm. All right, so I'm gonna be like elves, just like hang out for a minute, <laughs> defend yourself as possible. Don't attack the crushing people. I know there's some bad blood there, but like the greater good. Greater, the greater good, good. Greater good. That greater, great, that greater good. good. Okay. Um, uh, so, you know, like tactics wise, uh, maybe try and get as many of the crushing people Can to Alora's join us. Can Alora's invisibilize us? That bitch. No. Do we even know that she has that ability? And she didn't have the ability. She had bracelets that got broken the they never got mudslide. Broken. They uh, never got broken. You just took them did. away. You they took them broken. away from us. <laughs> you red cotting motherfucker. They got broke. <laughs> I listened to that episode. How does mud break? I didn't up? tell you that they broke, but they just broke. Oh. Falling mud doesn't break <laughs> rocks. Silver Magic. bracelets. Rocks bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> they got damaged. They don't work properly. They need to be repaired. We only had a tinker. Oh, yeah. yeah. If only we had someone who could You would have just broke them harder. <laughs> they would have been so invisible. Be like, no, they really make you invisible. By I don't know where they are. Making you disappear. He forever. fixes them so they go invisible. And then he drops them and then goes to tell you guys about it and then comes back. He can't figure it out. Oh, shit. It's gone. So you guys are just running? I mean, that's we, we need to We need to organize uh, a defense. Aloris, you got any ideas? Numbers. So the dragon's up top. Yeah. Shooting red lightning. Red lightning yeah. And anything that comes close. Not anything. Mo- it looks like it's shooting more at like, the heavily armored people. It's, like it's ignoring the weaker people for the stronger. Robots. Yeah. <laughs> New plan. Everyone get naked. <laughs> he will. Yes. Yeah. 20... Yes. What now? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Get naked and carry our things on our in bags behind us so that we. The bag can... of holding. Uh, My dice bag of holding. And everyone takes one item out at a time. <laughs> Shh, just give us one a minute. minute. Just give yeah, us once a minute. we get to the tower, it's basically a short rest. <laughs> so like uh, twenty four to see if there's a pattern or if he's just going after the. Just. See, I mean, it just kind of seems like whatever he happens to notice. I mean, there are some people that, get, that are getting shots off. And he gets to them. When he gets to them, it doesn't fire super fast. It's like, pew. 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 It's got a, like a decent cooldown. That's pretty cool fast. Down. Pew. Yeah. He doesn't want to be over. But there's also a ton of guards, so it's he's not really killing a bunch mm. of them at once. So And a lightning bolt doesn't necessarily kill the guard. Like, sometimes he has to hit him a couple times. Mm. But what's the a, what's a time between... Bolts? Bolts. Nice. Like, from, from his eyes? No, it's breath. From his mouth yeah. to the guard. How Blech. could oh, you, uh, yeah. you use your dancing saber? From mouth to guard, it's about guard. a second. So it's not long enough where I could dodge it. You could maybe. I mean, you'd have to have a really high dex check. I'm down. <laughs> okay. But, there, I mean, there are a bunch of people around the tower, so it's not like it would be just you guys plus the elves. The other, other people are attacking the tower? Trying to siege the tower. Right, let's join them. Go. Okay. Well, I mean, Charge. Hold on. No. Hold on. Calm it down, Mr. Dragon. We have to have well, a guys, battle we gotta, plan. We gotta bro, calm this bro. down. Bro. All right. So, like... There was only a charge at, horn. Ride in and kill them all till they're dead. At, it's a battle plan. There was only a charge at horn. At yeah. Witches in Warlock University, I took an elective course in battle tactics. You know, it was an elective because there's no major. But, like, it was really interesting. And I got, like, a, I got, like, a C in it. Give a so charge pretty horn. pretty great. <laughs> Yeah. So like we gotta like get everyone. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> so all of a sudden the elves just uh, start uh, running uh, while, she's, while he's giving right. a lecture. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> I, I, so everyone's I, charging. Yeah, let's okay. Do, it. <laughs> do the other scattered crushing people see this and be like, "Yeah, right, let's do this." Uh, they're, I mean, they're still fighting off robots and goblins. So I mean, they're not. Where did he get the horn? It just cups his hands. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> sounded really good. What's wrong with that guy? Actually, he has a horn attachment for his hand. Yeah, that's, it, my hand flips up. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yeah. um, he was supposed to be the general. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. But now he is the king. <laughs> True. Okay, so as I you guys have m- the head, so start to charge the tower, the man on top of the tower sees this and he uh, like holds up his staff and like lightning cracks the sky and he says, Fools! You cannot hope to stop me! I have the power of a god! And then all of Close. a sudden he starts chanting and um, you start to hear all of this rattling noises and things like that. Perception check. Everybody. No. <laughs> I refuse. I continue to charge. 24. 13. Uh, you notice that little pieces of metal from all the destroyed robots is starting to like roll its way towards the tower. And then all of the dead corpses of goblins and um, Crushing House folk are starting to become emaciated and little white pumes. Pumes? Pumes. Plumes? Plumes? White pumes? Plumes. 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 <laughs> plumes. Plumes of white smoke uh, emanate from their bodies and also float towards this. So this clump of metal is getting bigger and bigger, and now it's sort of the size of the entire tower. So like he's casting a spell right now? Yeah. What, what, what kind of level of spell do you think this is? Really, really high. All right, never mind. Um, would uh, why did I choose counter spell? So we're still, of course, <laughs> oh, no. charging while this is happening. So now I mean, we're inside the tower. Like, I mean, if you just want to keep running through this, yeah, okay, that's what I'm doing. I mean, he was doing it when you were about a hundred feet out. So I'm really sprinty. Okay, <laughs> like a dog <laughs> with a shot collar, just sprinting through the pain. So it worth it. This, <laughs> it forms this very large metal creature and the chest cavities open and when all the white shoot plumes him, shoot him while he's doing this enter the I middle mean. part it starts to turn pink and then the metal folds over it Aren't and then it's him? like I don't, I don't think we have a chance right now it's like we're all like all struck yeah you're pretty far away and this is giant i'm past it now <laughs> what, what? i don't think 100 feet went are, that fast are you? or went that fast i don't think you're i don't think you are but the robot turns to the guy on the dragon the dragon says, "My creation, yeah, it's destroy this city and all of these fools." <laughs> that sounds okay. <laughs> so then he immediately just starts smashing the fuck out of everything, and Alors is like, "Careful, he doesn't step on you. He'll smash us." And then Marwan goes, "No fucking shit. Any other fucking gems of wisdom you want to just add to this? So worthless." <laughs> Find the access hatch. She cries. <laughs> does it have? Does it have an? A- Oh, Does man. it have an access hatch where we could uh, torpedo it? It looks like it's exhaust port of some kind. of metal put together, so it doesn't look like it's manufactured quite so the no same. No exhaust way. port. No, doesn't man. seem to be that I way. Wish it were raining. It totally like rust. Rust <laughs> in like years, uh, months. My uh, Chad is not a smart man. It's not acid rain. He's he's kind of he got C's, man. I'm really proud of them C's, too, dude. So yeah, so you are in a. So to give you an idea of the layout, I should say, so you have the tower, then you have the, well, what's not left of the bank, the monster, and then um, the tower is in the dead center of town. So there's five pathways, and each pathway has two rows of, like, houses and buildings on each side of the road. So Mm -hmm. there are lots of buildings and things like that, but this robot is literally just stamping around, smashing anything that's on the ground. And there should be, I mean, given the order of its commands, it should be crushing the buildings first. Destroy sure. this city, <laughs> and anyone. <laughs> so <laughs> one at a time, each very carefully the dismantling <laughs> the buildings, not killing the people. Yeah. I must follow my programming <laughs> protocols. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> 10, destroy a city. 20. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to try and run past those it. stairs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dex. Crit 20. Oh, nice. 10. Ten, you said. So you um, actually should be athletics. So if, oh, athletics. if athletics is better, Definitely you can dead. use that stat okay. instead. I will. Because you're trying to run past it. Mm, yes. Twelve. Okay. Sixteen this time. Okay. So the only person that... Mi- oh, hold on. Let me try yeah, that. the elves. Good old athletics. Oh, the elves aren't even fucking... Nope. Sissies. They see a giant robot. They're like, mmm... Mm, not not so much. I'm not even supposed to be here, man. Free action <laughs> persuasion check. <clears throat> you can. I might, dudes. I might just be 
a stupid drow, uh, d- dusk. Oh, I-, I might just be a big old loser, but I'm gonna fight. <laughs> and you know, if you don't, then you're gonna f- forever regret not fighting, bros. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Crit fail. <laughs> <laughs> I beat him to death. I just start crying. <laughs> uh, they all run over and just punch you right in the stomach. Ugh. Each yeah. give you a swirly. Yeah, what's what's <laughs> that? Okay, they have to beat a twenty-one AC. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Bloop, dude, bros. I'm just I'm so like oh, I, I'm not crying, man. It's onions. So much cutting onions. Two crit fails. <laughs> they- they lose themselves into the ether. <laughs> <laughs> they cross punch each other. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. How many? How many of them punching me in the in the face or the chest? Uh, two of them hit you Bleep. in the face. Right. Oh yeah, the stomach. Bleep. Yeah, so I guess they just get sucked into the void and die. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> ah! That felt strange. <laughs> <laughs> just they punch and they're like, huh? That's a. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So does he feel stronger now that... <laughs> no. Uh, he didn't even feel anything. The empty just, void is always hungry. <laughs> it, it burps a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah. We so, should uh, throw that guy into that. Feed me, Chad So the only or person the dragon, that makes it past like... the robot is Ralph. The robot stamps in front of the door so nobody else can run in. 16 athletics, no good? Because mm. you had to run pretty far pretty fast. So he stands around. So Ralph, you're in the tunnel. You're in the uh, tower. It's exciting for you. Now what do I do? <laughs> Command that bro. robot, guys. Dude, bro. Guys? Uh, hello. Hey, bro. Can I'll go save bro? the day. You all have one action to do before I start doing initiative. So, okay. What would all of you like to do? Because you are currently standing right I'll, uh, underneath this giant I'll Trump robot. tower. That shit. So what's I'm around? I'm gonna run around to the other side of the tower. Okay. It's, it's like, how many blocks? <clears throat> what's around me? Another entrance. You're in a. Stairwell and the doorway is blocked by a giant metal foot. You just is there like a window stab the nearby? Shit out of that thing? Not on the lower on, level. On the other side. Yeah. You, yeah, you could open up a second story window and let a rope down, and I can climb it. It's totally safe. Oh, that giant. Or I could climb the metal monster to use it to jump to the Robe- top of the tower. Robe- How close? Is- what? How close am I to it? To what? The robot? Yeah. Like three feet. Like you just ran in the entrance, and now its foot is right behind you. I'm going to grab its foot. So you're just touching it? Yeah, and I'm going to cast something. Okay. Um, the Bestow Curse. Okay. So it's Bestow. Cursed. Bestow, Bestow curse. curse. Bestow. Bestow, Bestow Curse. Holy fuck, okay, yeah. what's that do? We're all wrong. Except um, Tristan. So, yeah. when you touch a creature, the creature must succeed a wisdom save. Uh, 15. I am wise. Ties. Fuck. <laughs> So I just check his Achilles to make sure it's all right. <laughs> okay. But. Okay. Um, yeah, can't do anything because he, he passed his. Okay. <clears throat> so you're not cursed. Okay. Fair enough. Which would have been great if that, that went been, off. That would have been really nice. What does it do? You try, uh, can you try again next time? <laughs> no. <laughs> you can only do it once. Uh, How many spell slots do you have? I you don't have to don't have it slotted. No. Okay. You probably have more than one. So I'm guessing what you can try that again. Then? Three. Mm, you might only have yeah, one. That's mm. it. I'm the one who can do all the third level spells. That sucks. All the time. So when you're cursed, if it <clears throat> did go off, I get to choose one ability score. And you always have disadvantage on that. Uh, you take okay. disadvantage to all attack rolls. Oh. While cursed, uh, you have to continuously make a wisdom save. Okay. Um, If you fail that wisdom save, that's your turn. Oh. And uh, while you're cursed, you take 1d8 damage. Okay. That's pretty good. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty good. But I failed. Shame it failed. <clears throat> but it failed, yeah. Shame. Do you shame, have any uh, more lack of cursing shame. things? Uh, no. I chose all defensive and, and uh, utility things. And counterspell, which... The power of a god! Fuck. Um. So Marwin yells over to Aloris and says, Hey! That guy looks like he might be able to do something while we run away. And he goes, they go, um, try the double boost. And they're like, oh, I don't know if that works. The last time we tried that, the person exploded. Eh, it's fucking, it's fine, it's fine. So they both cast enlarge on you simultaneously. Uh, yay! And you are now the same size as the robot. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> For one minute. Oh, that's amazing. And okay. your attacks deal 2d4 extra damage. Nice. And you have advantage on strength checks. Sweet. 
grab and strength saves. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna grab the necromancer, the necromancer <laughs> off of the dragon. Okay, high. and oh. bite him. <laughs> <In half. laughs> so, well. so you could try and grab him. All right, I have advantage. You said. That'd, well, that'd be a dex it's strength. That Grappling. Per- yeah, but you're big now, so you're just trying to grab him. All physical attacks are strength. Is it? Yeah. Like if you're trying to catch something. He's not moving. He's on the back of it. If thing. he sees you coming at him, he's gonna move. Is he not strapped in? He's flying bear <laughs> saddle on the dragon. Yeah. He's okay. rather ballsy. <laughs> he's quite a ballsy technomancer. You're still still going with that strength. <laughs> okay. Because it's grappling. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Which is strength. He's gonna try and dex away. Twenty four. Crit fail. Ah, nothing bad. Oh. So I grab him. Yeah. So you have him. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Hold on one second. Oh, I see. <laughs> Hold on one second. You didn't say which arm you grabbed him with, so you grabbed him with the robot arm. And then he immediately just goes, bloop, and it falls off. <laughs> <laughs> but so he's falling now. So he's falling, yeah. Does that arm hit anything below? Oh, it's like a, lo- a loris. Uh, um, can I make a deck save to catch the arm that is gri- gripping him? And sure. just smash it around <laughs> like the Hulk with Loki? Oh, he, uh... Uh, my deck save was 16 to catch it. So you catch it, but... So he goes... Bloop, and disappears out of the hand. I don't like this guy. All right, I take my hand and I smack the... Con- the automaton. <laughs> <laughs> take this, beat, you foul knave! Beat him to death with my own arm. <laughs> yep. Um, so, so the arm didn't land on anybody. Okay. So yeah, so you can attack the automaton with your... Giant metal arm. Yes. Roll an attack. I will do that. 27. Hits. So how much damage is my own gigantic arm made out of metal doing? Well, it doesn't say anything like the damage goes up on anything. So it would be the same as if it were a club. So 1d6, but it has an additional 2d4 added to it. It's kind of one of those weird things. I think it's increased if you... Like, all your items are increased, but it doesn't say the damage on them goes up. It just says increased by 1d4. If there's, like, a a size difference, like a small thing. I guess. You would... But it's the same size. Yeah. Just don't hit us. (laughs) 14 damage. Okay. And I guess I'll try to perceive to see where he blooped to. Okay. 13. Uh, He blooped back onto the dragon that is now flying around. But like above you, where you can't reach it. Oh, mm, you can't get me. Because he's wise to. <laughs> na 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 boo boo. Almost, you almost killed him. Na 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 boop boop. Uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? Uh, I want my arm back on. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, Can my... I hit him with my arm? <laughs> Just throw it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I have it next turn. A dex throw. Yeah. That After works. initiative. Wouldn't you have double reach? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a grabby cool, claw. It's actually a grabby or... claw. <laughs> just, just out of reach. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty high up right now. Uh, all right, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast the big robe behemoth. Okay. Uh, two nineteens. Because I get to cast they it both twice hit. now. All right. Yeah, they both hit. Uh, all right, I'm just rolling the same. Uh, all the dead. That's twenty six damage. Nice. <laughs> That's everybody in your group. Robro, I Robro. guess, gets to go. He's going to run up and attack. He's got the light shield. He just ran himself <laughs> into <laughs> it with the light clang, shield. Clang, clang. Uh, his one healed. attack misses, Everyone's his healed. other one hits. So he hits for 15 damage. Good job, Robo. Bro. Uh, so then it is the... Um, so now we'll do initiative. Yeah. 18. Okay. I got a 17. Okay. You got a 19. Holy shit, Ooh, you guys. You guys are all good, aren't you? Oh my god, we're actually going to do well or so far. Doing all right. <laughs> Right. You should break the robot's back. Um, no, I'm going to use the, the hammer. You think the botanist is your ally? Okay. You merely adopted the bot. So then first up would be um, Ralph. Ralph. Should I climb the stairs to get a better vantage point? I mean, he's not there point? anymore. So. But I would have... You could still see him. Well, I could still see him. <clears throat> or should I stay below where the robot can't really I'd say attack me? Out and of just... sight is good. Yeah. Use your, your so dancing gonna, sword. Uh, meow, meow cat. I'm going to tickle the keys on my uh, <laughs> meow, meow, uh, my meow, meow, meow. cat board. Cat board. Meow, okay. Meow. So three plus your charisma. Plus seven. Eighteen. Hits. Nineteen. With the sword. Hits. Twenty. Then it is Randall. I guess I can't really use my two-handed weapon. Before we go to Randall. You can. So does now this sword just 
weave in and out of so it's a dancing sword yeah so it just stays in the fray yeah continuously slashing yeah unless you don't play a song on your turn then i'm always playing songs yeah okay got it word thanks yep yep meow um can i do a smartness check to see if uh i can easily reattach my arm sure intelligence Artificial oh yeah because if you don't do it now <clears throat> then wouldn't it just stay the same size no everything shrinks back oh, it'll shrink back down okay after it, um everything shrinks back down after i got an 11 it. sounds about sounds about right i mean it should fit Stre- <laughs> strength just jam that fucking thing on there and just hope you jam it in there hard enough and move it around that it just sticks just attack it okay just attack it bro you technically to... still have your two dick flail too it is one handed I, as I'll use the flail. What are you trying to hit? A loris. <laughs> <laughs> Done. You, you caused my all of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing, the monster. Okay. I'm gonna double flail it. Okay. Twenty-six. Hits. Nineteen. Hits. Thirty-seven damage. Thirty-seven oh. damage. for two flail smacks. Oh, you could surge. So then it is you, Vor- or Chad Brochiel. Whoa, well, oh, Vorin is Vorin. Long well, your other character was going to be named Vorin, too. Again, I'm thinking about that druid that yeah, never existed. So, true. Chad Brochiel. Yeah, bro. All right. Behold the power of the great old bros, the Eldritch alums. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, Jesus. His, uh, Chad's cloak, uh, like, puffs up, puffs up, flows outwardly, menacingly, and a tiny little terrier-shaped void creature comes Me. out and goes, <laughs> uh, and uh, we both cast Eldritch Blast. Now, you don't have to cast the exact same thing. It can cast any cantrip, and you could be casting whatever you want. I only have two spell slots. <clears throat> okay. I'm just saving them, them for when I need them. <clears throat> okay. So let's do this, bitches. Get riggedy riggedy wrecked. Oh, okay, so one definitely misses with a crit a fail. 10. No, it's a oh, 10. Okay. Um, and then 23, 27, and 25. Yeah. So they all hit. Okay, here comes the pain. The pain train. How many die? Chugga chugga, because I shoot two Eldritch Blasts. Oh, and it's I get two. To, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, baby. Okay. That's a d12. So now there's four of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for making me way OP. <laughs> it's fine. Come on, bark it. You can do this. You haven't seen the hit points on the monster, yeah, so it's okay. All right. Um, Why does combat take so long? <laughs> <laughs> 41 damage? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good. So then it's Robro. <clears throat> Robo runs over. Beep, boop, beep. Well, he's still over there, I guess. Robro Baggins. Both hit. 21 damage. I, shouting to Aloris and... <clears throat> or to double, double, enlarge me. They, they don't have it anymore. <laughs> well, your hands are finally pretty big. Yeah. They're, They're normal size <laughs> now. Size now. <laughs> when you held the guy, it was like you were just giving him a handshake. <laughs> it's like, what is this? You just felt so weird. Uh, Fuck your character. <laughs> Next is the dude on the dragon, and he's going to do sort of a flyby and cast a spell at uh, Randall. He's going to cast Wall of Fire around you. Hey, what level spell is that? I think it's five. Four or five. What level spell does Counterspell will affect? And I'll let you know. Then Um, I'll know. All levels, but it just just depends. (laughs) Oh, it's an easier chance if it's a... Okay. So I'm going to say... If it's spell level three or lower, it's I'm pretty sure it's five. Five. It's five. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to counterspell that. Okay. All right. How's it work? All right. So uh, the DC check is 10 plus the level of the spell, so I have to beat a 15. Okay. And you use your spell rolls? And I got a 16, so it's like... Oh, nice. Oh, so you still add stuff to the roll? Yeah. Oh, that's OP. But you can't use it as many times as you want. And and I have one spell left that's not a cantrip. So you can't cast Counterspell every time, then? No. I can cast only two spells that are not cantrips. That's what makes Warlocks not the most OP. Gotcha. Well, then the dragon goes, and he's going to shoot a lightning bolt at um, Randall. Yeah, I can't can't counter that one, bro. Um, Yeah, that hits. Um, I need to do my reaction. So, 
and make it 24. Then it doesn't hit. Yes! Worth the spell slot. <laughs> so he misses too. Boosh. <clears throat> so then it is Aloris. And Aloris is going to cast Acid Splash on the robot. She crit fail. God oh, damn it. No. She's going to be disfigured. Nope, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing happens. She just misses horribly. <laughs> <laughs> she just. Would that keep you from. She sneezes in the middle still of the Still trying spell. to kiss her? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Oh, you left me. <laughs> she looks soft. Sure, she sure. looks like the guy from we're RoboCop. Still, still have a soft belly. Well, it's, all, it's all scar tissue, so it's even softer. She looks like the mutant guy from the end of RoboCop <laughs> after he gets dipped in the vat of toxic chemicals. Um, the Joker. Yeah. That's how the so then it's the giant robot. Got a white face. So I'm gonna need Chad Bro Chill. Robro, Aloris, and Marwin to roll a deck save. Alright. Well, actually, no. He's going to roll to attack first, and if he's successful, then you can deck save. Alright. <laughs> Robo Dragon. So it hits. Me and Barkett are both AC 21. It hits. So, so now, deck save. So it's doing double damage to him because his Eldritch thing also gives Wait, him damage? Wait, is it, is it going to hit Barkett? Yeah. Alright. It's a giant foot. Right. Stepping on like right around where all you guys are. Okay. <laughs> the other three dodged out of the way. No big deal. Uh, that's a no. Okay then. Yeah. So the giant robot steps on you for. Uh, I've summoned the barkin. <laughs> <laughs> you take twenty-eight damage and okay. you're knocked prone. AKA forty-six damage. No. But you took all damage that your thing took. If it's separate from him. Uh. If it's, like, right next to him, it doesn't do anything. Oh, it, okay. okay, so over distance. Just yeah. double squish him. So 28 yeah. and I'm prone. Yeah. Right. But Barkett is gone for right now. It just dissipates. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So you take that and you're knocked prone. Okay. Uh, it also smashed a shit ton of the elves. So They're lot, still there? A lot of them are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they even here? They talked a big game about running away and then still just kind of stood around. And then uh, it's... Uh, you know what? Let's just watch. Then it's Morrowind's turn. Oh, Jesus. She's going to cast... Uh, Kill the Techromancer. Shatter on the foot of the robot. Yes. Is it on me? Is yeah. It, it Technically, it's down? it's smashing you at the moment. Oh, this is great. So that should transfer, right? <laughs> like electricity. Which will wake me up and heal me. It does not save. It'll wake you up inside. So it deals 3d8 damage. <laughs> wake me up. Can't wake up. It's my favorite band. <laughs> <laughs> It's, deals 18 damage really out of character. and just really messes up his leg. <laughs> Doesn't break it or anything like that, but deals a lot of damage. And I kind of poop myself a little. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Fair enough. Wait, so that, did it hit me at the front or like on the top? How many how many rounds do I get to be gigantic? Uh, this will be your last turn as being and, a giant. And I couldn't like chest bump it, so it absorbed. <laughs> did I already go this turn? No, I mean, we're coming, coming back up. around. Yeah, okay. So you're going to have back. one more turn as a Sweet, giant. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I got this. So next up is uh, Ralph. <laughs> 17 to hit yeah 23 damage a power cord and a dazzling spinning rapier <laughs> slashes the metal monstrosity for 24 damage 24 damage <laughs> 24. fair enough <laughs> all right best thing ever so then we have the giant randall i'm readying my action <laughs> what for what for, like what are you reading um, to to delay it as to do my turn as a reaction to somebody else's turn so chad bro chill i just start you can't really like do I'm anything powering can up super saiyan well i mean ah! <laughs> <laughs> three episodes later <laughs> he's back to normal with he tiny face. tiny hands he's <laughs> very angry and his head scales can you just golden. cast enlarge on the hands <laughs> <laughs> if they double in size twice they'll be the normal size that they should be <laughs> boop, boop. hey <laughs> fuck your character <laughs> <laughs> all right um the only thing that's keeping us from being totally dead. <laughs> Fuck that guy. We're all utility classes. <laughs> all right, well, the foot is still on me, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, well, then I'm going to expel my that. last <laughs> spell slot to cast uh, Agatha's armor, or Agath's armor. Okay. Uh, I gain 15 health, and anybody that attacks me and hits <clears throat> deals uh, takes 15 cold damage. Okay. For an hour. 
Okay. Sweet. What the fuck is this spell? That's really a weird good. spell. Bro, bro. Let me have that health. Runs over and attacks the foot that he misses. Misses twice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just awful. So then it is um, dude on a dragon. So he's going to... Let's see here. He's going to do something? Dude well, with my dragon. He's, doing. he's casting Crown of Madness on you. Oh, shit. Do a wisdom save. Does oh, he, he has to get in range, right? Definitely going to have to swoop down. Which is at which point I will be doing my reaction. <laughs> yeah, I'll look it up. Which is grab onto the back of the dragon and be, make sure I'm on top of it before I get small. So I'm on the dragon, ready to attack him. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> If it's short range, I might not do that one. I believe you declared. Uh, 120 feet. Oh, that's super close when you're a giant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's that close. Not grabbing close. I'm the size of a tower. The tower's 50 feet. I can jump. So it'd be 20. Jump my body height up. So Athletics. Okay, athletics to jump on the dragon. But he's still going to cast a spell. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to like do a jump and then jump off the tower. <laughs> You're gonna jump on the tower, as like as, as like a, a push giant. Step. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. You're gonna crush that tower, <laughs> which, like which I am in. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll just make a really big jump. Okay. Athletics check. We'll don't have to save first. We're at the same time. We're going Red, at the same time. Red's so it'll athletics. Be interesting. Uh, gray is madness save, which is wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Rough. More like meow. Um. <laughs> Well, my athletics check was 21. So that's okay. And my wisdom save was 13. So it's not good enough to save. Uh, so Crown of Madness, what it does is... <laughs> but basically, he's going to make you let go. He makes me do stuff? Well, he makes you attack somebody else. Yeah, you have to make a melee attack against a creature. Of his choice. Then itself <laughs> that you he mentally chooses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and spear drop <laughs> huh? just falls oh God. you attack Robro <gasps> yes <laughs> no. here comes the heels with my lightning breath do I get to choose the attack no it's a melee attack it's a melee, no, it's attack. melee and he's got I that health shield shocking gra- grasp no it's a melee it's a attack melee attack no, it, no, not him? spell yeah. All right. yeah so it's 1d4 plus 1d4 plus 1d4 first I have to hit him plus it. strength plus strength yeah I hit attack for 17. It's enough to hit Robro. Does Robro have his shield up? It's on his, it's on his oh, chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do 14 damage. Bring on the heels. So it'll heal everybody else for 14 damage. Boosh. Sweet. But it hurts Robro. Oh, no, it heals for half of that. Seven. So, yeah. Sorry, seven damage. Right? <laughs> Did write this fucking thing. Is that right? like everybody on our team? Like the entire city of Crushing? No. <laughs> it's within, it's within <laughs> five yards. Okay. So if someone's within five yards, which so I think would Austin. only be Chad, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, or Chad Brochill. Chad Brochill. Mm-hmm. Sorry. So yeah, so you punch Robro for that. So I get seven hit points. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sweet, I'm healed. Okay. So, so dragon. Goes. That's the end of my turn. I get to make a wisdom save. Yeah. Yeah. Since I went after him, uh, you make a wisdom save at the end of your turn. So you do one when he casts, and if it so succeeds, I have to do the thing. it guarantees that you do a melee attack. And at the end of your turn, you then do another wisdom save. To see if my next turn is mine. To see if the next turn is yours, yeah. Okay. And if it is... Nope. If it's not, well, then that's the only thing that the Technomancer can do. That's fine. Yeah. So Robo Dragon then attacks you. Me? Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't hit. Take that, Robo Dragon. Just misses. So then, uh, there can be only one dragon. Giant Robo takes his foot off of Chad Brochill and <laughs> slams it down again. <laughs> <laughs> like he's putting out a cigarette. Uh, free action. Look like I'm already dead. <laughs> uh, it will try and punch smash um, the three cat or the two casters. The three cats. Where? Three cats. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's your cat friend. He shows up. You heard the cat keyboard. Catman dude. Running. Catman dude. Catman dude. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to attack those two. One hits, one misses. So he's. She, uh, Aloris is going to try and dodge. Doesn't. God damn it. So she's going to take 64 plus 8. Holy tits. 22. Aloris takes 22 damage. Whew. And now I'm small again. Punching yes. Robro. <laughs> so yeah, that's Robro. So then we're back around to Ralph. I'm going to continue to play my Bad cat Robo. keyboard. Okay. Yeah, let's hear it. Meow, 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 meow. So the 
sword misses. Okay. Uh, but the cat keyboard hits for 11. You could also inspire somebody, right? I could, but you're mind controlled. Morrowind you know shouts out in the middle of these turns that this doesn't seem like it's doing a ton of work. Like I was trying to do something. Okay. That's all well and good. She's Put just, my arm back she's on. She's saying madness. So she shouts that out. She's like, maybe we should try something different. Okay. Like the techno mancer. So then we're back around to Randall, so I, I guess... guess I'm punching Robro. Or somebody else. So you're not big anymore. No. Uh, you're going to attack Chad Brochill. Oh, shit. But it's just a punch, though. That's fine. It uh, it's use... a 15 to hit. You do not hit. Good. Yes. Awesome. That's very good. Wait. <laughs> for both of us. But does he hit the chest piece? Get sucked into the book. <laughs> well, no, no, he doesn't hit me at all. I'm punching? I... Wait. Yeah. That's not how we've been playing that. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yep. Oh, sucked God. In. You get sucked right in the void and die. Can I try and grab him? With, your, with your hands? Hold him. <laughs> I love you. Strength Wait, check. Wait, uh, can I... Can I... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, you're right. You only hit me with yeah. one hand. <laughs> like, like it's the and you don't have Army to... of Darkness book. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, were you still holding the robot arm? Yeah. Yeah. But you don't have control of your body. Well, it was a melee attack. I have control of my attack fist. targets. Yeah. So wouldn't he have been using the club? Sure, you'd be clubbing him with a... Yeah. So, so, yeah, so, so, punch, you lose so you lose the robot arm. You can arm. let go of the robot arm. I'll let go of the robot arm. Oh, thank God. You just get sucked into the void. That <laughs> <laughs> feels real weird, bro. I demand that, I demand that Robro <laughs> attach that shield onto my shoulder. <laughs> just, oh my God, I used my two-hander. Uh, make your make your whiz save. Um, that would be a good time to also admit that I get two attacks per round. <laughs> <laughs> so so I'll attack. be punching you again. I mean, it's it's to I, make a I have to. melee attack. It does say attack. a melee attack. All right, you want me to hit you with a fucking flail? <laughs> no, just no, no, one no. melee. It just says one. Yeah, you only you make one attack. Yeah. No. A melee attack. So my other one, I could do something else. No, no, I just don't think you get you, to do anything until you, you make, pass the you wisdom save. All right, well, I say, or until he stops casting. I won't. I'm, I'm seriously with that Robro. Give me that shield on my arm. <laughs> okay. And my wisdom remains unsaved. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Twelve. So then it is... Uh, I'm kind of crying right now. Just, I just, Chad Brochill. <laughs> oh, God. You're going to die. <laughs> Get away from me. You're going to die. Chad Brochill, you're up. All right. Oh, God. I have no more spells to cast other than cantrips. I'll just blast that motherfucker on the dragon. You can summon another little voidling. Perhaps a Scottish terrier this time. <sighs> the superior kind. Or a chihuahua. Corgi. <laughs> Corgi. Yeah. A dachshund in a little, like, Robin Hood outfit or so, something. Like Corgi in one of those Corgi gifts that are excited about food, so they're bouncing up and down <laughs> on their front legs. <laughs> Except they're shooting Eldritch Blast every time. <laughs> <laughs> shivering <laughs> Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Jesus Christ. So I'm going to choose something that flies instead. It could still be flying. A winged dog. Oh. Even though it's a little Corgi, it could <laughs> still fly around. It doesn't <laughs> obey the laws of yeah. aerodynamics. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's Eldritch. Yeah. It's made of void. It is, it is the... the so bots the and on living <laughs> the <laughs> torpedo. <laughs> hey, we gotta take down the dragon's wings so that we can melee this dude to death. Because we're all melee. Yeah. Is it an action for me to become unprone? It's a minor action, so you I... can't move. Yeah, never mind. Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go unprone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and uh, avoid. A little the 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 void cloak unfurls and it's another a little. Gerbil. <laughs> it's it's a uh, it's a uh... right up the robot's butt, <laughs> and then it explodes. <laughs> Enlarge. It's yeah. a it's a void fish. Could you like send a magic card? Are there cracks just... in it? Could you send it in there to shoot void blasts inside of its smoky core? Yeah, are there cracks in this. If you picked a small enough creature, sure. It's a void fish. It's a void fish. Avoid like silver fish. Avoid goldfish. Okay. Avoid beta fish. Yeah. Okay. Most it's super angry. Of the, of the fish. <laughs> the fish. Fair enough. Did you look at me? Did you look at me? How fuck I kill you? <laughs> That's what beta fish say all the time. <laughs> Smashing their face against the glass. Death, death to the air. Death to the air breathers. <laughs> So is there is there a, a crack in the thing? Roll perception. All right, I'll do that. 
Uh, crit 20. Yeah, you found a crack. All right. And it's right cracked. The in the fish. seam between its two legs. Yes. Yep. <laughs> the, the, the weak taint of the giant robot. <laughs> so it it flops its way on in. Okay. And we both Eldritch Blast it. Okay. From the inside. I'm inside you, blasting my way One's out. inside. I'm I'm outside. Okay. okay. Oh, wow. That was almost bad. So 18 and 26. They both hit. They hit. And then. The one on the inside of them is going to do double damage. All right. Unless you try and aim it at, like, the core or something. Just, just... Don't each of you do two two blasts? Is that what you... One of each of ours hit. Okay. And then, uh, 15... Hits. And the other one hits with a 19. So, 46 and 23. Okay. 69. 69. (laughs) Automatic death. (laughs) Jesus. Okay, so yeah, so you just fire off all these Eldritch Blasts, and you just see, like, fireworks on the... Um, and then you see, like, its inside rumble around a little bit, and it's like... Arr. I shouldn't have eaten those tacos. Damn fish always hit me in the wrong places. <laughs> Burp. Beep boop, I am um, allergic to fish. Robo. Shits its insides out? Oh. Gives me the shield? Hits twice and gives you the shield at the same time. Jams it onto my sh- empty so- shoulder jams socket. Jams it in your socket. <laughs> Uh, he deals uh, 14 damage. Suck it. Suck it to me, baby. Then it is uh, Aloris. Aloris is like, all right, fuck it. Time to bring out the big guns. We don't happen to have any more of those spell potions, do we? Aloris casts Fireball at its head. Boom. So that way it does... still focusing it... firing the ads, not the main ones. What? Well, is... Emeline, do you want it? This is the Golemag encounter. She doesn't have enough distance <laughs> to shoot that That's high. Fair. Yeah, no, I don't think any of us do. Yeah. I sent we got a deep void fish. So it has to do a deck save of 16. It just misses. So it takes 8d6 fire damage. Oh, 31. 31 damage. Boom. 31 fire damage as a giant fireball just explodes in its head. Boom. The dude on the dragon who lets you go of the... Hooray! I was never going to save that. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> the save was high. He is then going to cast... Not Chad bro high, but... Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. nobody's Chad bro high. Chad uses a free action to smoke a dupe. He's going to fly down <laughs> semi-low, and he's going to cast Insect Plague. Mm-hmm. Itchy. All of you guys need to, except for you, bees. Ralph, need to do a con save. Bees, bees, millions of bees. Of 16. 17. Oh. Fine. So you're only going to take half damage. Yeah, no, that's... Uh... Does he have, since he has dealt damage to you, does that make cold mirror happen? Or is that only melee? Is it any time you take damage? So you take 11 damage. Mm. Use a bitch, Techromancer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chad, or not Chad, bro. Uh, Brochill takes 23 damage. Alorus takes 23 damage. And Marwin takes 23 damage. Um, does, my <laughs> shield, right. does my shield go off? No, it doesn't. Hmm. So it's... It's just there's a bunch of insects flying around. So okay. if you, so when you guys start your turn in there, you're gonna take damage too. So oh, I just close the door to the tower. <laughs> <laughs> nope, don't want any of this. That's, that's I go bad. into the basement and become Maybe the phantom of the me. tower. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Meow 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 meow. The uh, dragon will then try and take a shot at uh, Randall again. Really doesn't like Randall, but can't ever seem to hit the fucker. Uh, it does hit this time. Oh, no, my AC is now 22 because I have that shield. Hits. I'm going to reaction again to make it 27. Doesn't hit that time. Boosh. <laughs> Two spell slots down. <laughs> Worth it. And your shield doesn't go off either. Oh. So nothing happens there. Then it's the giant robot who's going to try and step on you guys again. Does the giant robot take damage from the insect plague? He's there. Yeah, I guess he would. He's going to take the 23. I might, I might be KO next turn, but It the murders way. a lot of... Uh, Basically, almost. It, would the insects get sucked up into the the void? Cl- void. Sure, the ones that do damage to him then get sucked up into the void immediately around him. So oh, this is weird. <laughs> this I feels like odd. It. I don't like it. I want that void. So then, shield. giant robot is going to attack. I'm just going to die. Two. I'm going to touch myself. It's only going to hit. Okay, it's not going to hit. Yes. So he just totally just trips and doesn't go anywhere different. Just bang. Oh. <laughs> just misses his turn. You dumb fuck. <laughs> So right there, we're going to call it for this week in the middle of this giant robot fight. Hopefully the party can come up with a better way in the meantime of dealing with all this stuff flying around and attacking them other than standing in the street and pew-pewing. (laughs) And bees. 
Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Botch Podcast. You can help the show grow a little bit over at patreon.com slash botch podcast. Thank you to Nigel Rolf, who sent over the X-File Enya song that we asked for a couple episodes back. We'll send you out a print. And if you want your name read out on the show, head on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review. And slaughter an animal or something. Uh, See you next week, nerds. (laughs) 